Donald Trump's a dickhead. That's it. That's a, that's you can't you can't disrespect LeBron. That absolutely not. Donald Trump sucks. Ass. For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson. Whether people want to admit it or not, the intersection of politics and sports has been something that's always captured headlines. Whether it was John Carlos and Tommy Smith raising their fists to recognize the black power movement, to Colin Kaepernick embarking on a peaceful protest to combat social injustice, sports and politics seem to touch a nerve for many, whether good or bad. As we've seen over the past two seasons in the NFL, the ongoing debate about peaceful protest during the national anthem remains a hot-button issue. Players seem more empowered than ever before, with ownership and the powers that be in the NFL seemingly trying to reclaim some of that power by making players stand with ill-conceived legislation. This week, arguably the best player in the NFL, Aaron Rodgers, came to the defense of his fellow peers and addressed the fact that the President of the United States and many other are incorrectly denouncing the efforts of the players. I don't know how many times we can say, as a player and as a group, how much we love and support and appreciate the troops and the opportunities this country allows us. But this is about equality and something bigger than ourselves and bringing people together in love and connectedness and equality and social justice and putting light on people who deserve to have the attention for their causes and their difficult situations that they're in. Like Rogers, 2018 has witnessed superstar athletes utilize their platform to spark change. Like last week, LeBron James further solidified his personal greatness by opening up his I Promise Academy in Akron, Ohio that caters to at-risk youth in the community. After his opening, LeBron made his media rounds and sat down with CNN's Don Lemon, who posed the question of Donald Trump's presidency to LeBron James, who denounced him with ease. I believe Trump uses anything that's popular to try to negate people from thinking about the positive things they can actually be doing and try to just get our minds not to be as sharp as possible. LeBron has been openly critical of Donald Trump within the past year, even going on Twitter to call him a bum in defense of Stephen Curry. After LeBron's interview aired, Donald Trump took to Twitter himself to make a personal attack on LeBron James. LeBron James was just interviewed by the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon. He made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. I like Mike. That inclusion of Michael Jordan created additional uproar and calls who many people believe to be the greatest basketball player of all time to provide a personal statement on the matter. I support LJ. He's doing an amazing job for his community. Some people are divided by MJ's brief statement with some people feeling like he should have said more and others feeling like the statement was profound enough. With sports and politics on a collision course at the moment, athletes seem more equipped than ever before to challenge the powers that be. Whether it's Stephen Curry essentially calling Donald Trump a racist or the superstars mentioned before, we hit the streets of Los Angeles to get a sense of how fans are interpreting this new age of athlete. Like LeBron say, it's bigger than basketball. For sure. So I feel like they should voice their opinion because they're on a platform where we're, we're all eyes on them. Well, to me, you know, he's, he's another human in this world like everybody else. He got his opinions, he pay his taxes, so he should be able to say what he wants, just like everybody else. Uh, it may continue. I don't agree that it should, but it, I'm sure it will continue. But they're feeding right into his hands. Do you want a separation between politics and athletics or sports in general nowadays? Because it seems like they're merging right now. Well, I'm not telling people to put them together. Yeah. But if a man in sports have an opinion, hey, he should say it. I mean, it shows their true character. It shows their beliefs, you know. Uh, I, I support it. Yeah. I'm all for that. Yeah. It's your First Amendment. Of course. Absolutely. You should be able to defend yourself anywhere you go. Why not be transparent, right? You, you, you want to be supporting something if at the end of the day they don't hold down to your true beliefs? Donald Trump is good for another country, not for United States. The United States is very diverse. All he does is create problems. Honestly, he's just a big troll. To be honest, I don't even think he should be the president, so... Do you think there's ever an end point where it's like things can get too messy if athletes and politicians go back and forth in the media? People that's running the White House now, yeah. Because <laughs> it, it, it wasn't like that before. Because exactly. they never said nothing right. and nobody else. But where it is now, a lot of things is messy. I'm scared to say some things. <laughs> but as in terms of, of a president, he should know better. should have some class. Just because you're a businessman does not mean you have a class. Obama has class. Major class. Uh, Donald Trump is a joke. He's like a cartoon character. Couldn't have been said better. What are you guys' thoughts? Let us know in the comment section down below and keep it locked to Complex News by subscribing to us on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Pierre Simpson.